This video is sponsored by Wix. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be building my new website for my animation work. I've used Wix since 2017 and rather than just editing my old site, I wanted to start fresh and take you along with me. If you're interested in building your own professional website, you can click the link in the description. Now I'm going to sign in as I already have an account, but if you're new, you can click get started. Your page will be blank if you've never used it before, but you can see two of my old sites from uni here. And to make a new one, I'm just going to hit create new site. On this page, I'm going to type in animator and select animator portfolio. And then in this page, I'm going to select edit a template. There are so many different options to choose from. And this first page Wix has suggested the ones I think will suit me best. If I want to see what they're like, I can view them, see the full demo or choose to edit the template. After having a little look through, I decided to go with this one. The good thing about using a template to edit is that I can go through all the pages and they're already laid out with the same fonts and background. So everything feels nice and cohesive. In this menu, I can move them around, duplicate or rename the pages if I need more or delete them if I don't. I can also hide pages that I'm working on and password protect them so I can limit who has access as well. To get started, I'm just going to rename this, delete this menu. And obviously I want to change all this artwork to my own stuff. And to do that, I'm going to click on them and select change strip background which I can switch to a color image or video. If I select image, you'll get this window and I'll then go to site files and start uploading everything I need. This saves so much time so I don't have to upload files individually as I go along. If I just upload it all at once, it's all there when I need it. At the moment, I have four projects that I want to start with. There would be more, but they're currently under NDA and I can't share those yet. I then want to add another strip. I'll make it white. And I want to add in a GIF of the most recent animation that I finished. Here I can change the title and tags and then select change background. If I go to settings, I can change the position, opacity and drag the strip up so it covers the header too. My text in the left hand corner is still visible, which is nice and I like to add and arrange my anchors on the page so I can link buttons to them later. They're really helpful for keeping everything organized. Underneath this strip, I wanted to add my show reel and I chose video upload, stretched it out and selected my video from my files. In the settings, I set it to autoplay and on a loop and it won't play with sound unless the viewer selects the speaker icon because if it played with sound in a loop automatically, that would be very annoying. So that's good. I then want to move my gallery up beneath the show reel and I want a similar title. So I can select another one and press control D, which will duplicate it. Then if I go into my image gallery, I can switch out the images for my own and rename them as well. So after switching out the gallery images for my own stuff, I made sure to give them a title and a description and link them to the proper pages. Though these are JPEGs or PNGs at the moment, I can switch them to GIFs later if I want to. By going to settings and layout, I can change the design and animation of the gallery. There are a lot of different options here, but I switched from grid to masonry and renamed the anchor at the side as I went along. In a new strip, I'll add my about section. I made a new icon just for this website and it's a transparent looping animation, which I can add in a video box. In the settings here, I could change the video to a loop and make sure that it only plays when you hover over it. So it's a surprise when someone does it accidentally. And to make sure that it is a surprise, I want to turn down the opacity on the play button so it doesn't ruin the effect. I then want to add in some text beside my icon. And this is just something that I prepared earlier. And then I'm just going to highlight the end and add a link to my email. 
So instead of having the link, you can have a contact form instead. There are a lot of different options. This one is my favorite. I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to keep it or just have the contact link in my about section. So let me know in the comments if you prefer a contact form on a website or you're just happy clicking a link. So in the footer, I want to add social media icons and set up links that will open in a new window. I've then added a GIF that I really, really liked from my portal collaboration project. And I've also put that in the header as well underneath the KD sketch text and that's pinned so it will travel with the icon. Now it's time to sort out the project pages. This project was for an animated collab, which I've been calling my portal project. And as I went along, I filmed the entire process. So once that's edited together into a new video, I'll be adding that to this page as well. For now, I'm going to change the strip to a still image from the project. And the description is going to change to a few details about my inspirations and what the project was for. And I've put a video of my finished contribution to the project on the right. And then underneath, I want to add in some development work I did for it. That's one of the best things about creating project pages and sharing your work, because you get to show everyone all the stuff that went on behind the scenes when usually people just see the finished product. Now, instead of a gallery for this page, I wanted to be able to add regular images and resize and crop them and position them where I liked. And then I'm gonna add a few of the transparent looping animations that were a part of the main one. Now, this page is finished. I like to test out buttons as I go through. So I can do that by going to the preview. Once the whole website is finished, I'm gonna send it to a friend to check over just in case I've missed anything. Now, I'm really happy with this page, but I want to check that it still looks good on mobile view. Sometimes things will be misaligned, but it really doesn't take long to fix. Going back to the regular editor, it's time to sort out the other pages, and these are gonna be a similar layout and content to the first page. My biggest tips for building a website and getting the projects that you want to work on is to fill your website and show real with the stuff that you'd like to be hired for. So for example, if you've got rotoscoping on your site, but you'd rather be hired for character or effects animation, just swap it out. I really love experimenting with texture and color and style and animating weird smears and glitches. So that's what I've included in these projects. Another tip is if you haven't been paid for the work that you want to do yet, set yourself a mini brief, something super short that you can finish in a week or two and put it on your site just to prove that you can do it. This also helps to fill out your showreel and portfolio, keeping things fresh when you can't share other work that's under NDA. Now the website is finished. I have published my site, connected my domain, and for anyone who's curious, I usually go with this plan. I'm really happy with how the site turned out. I'm already planning what projects I'll be adding next and how I'm going to include them in my showreel. If you want to make your own professional website with Wix, be sure to click the link in the description and I'll be back with more animation tutorials real soon. Bye.